Hi there, this is Nikhil from GreedyTech.com and this is a short review about Nokia's latest Android phone, Nokia X. This is the product information page on Nokia website and here we have Nokia X dual SIM phone. As you can see from the picture here, it looks very similar to the Lumia series phones as well as the same Nokia Asha series phone. This phone even has the same looks as that of Nokia Asha 501. As you can see, it only has a single button over here at the center. If you click it once, it will act as a back button and if you long press it, it will act as a home button. There are not many buttons on this phone. Well, one is the lock and unlock button and there are two buttons for the volume up and down. So coming to the specifications, you have a main camera of 3 megapixel and a display size of 4 inch and a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor. You can even get the phone in different colors like black, blue, green, red and this is supposed to be white and even yellow. So let's see the specification in depth. Coming to display, it comes with a 4 inch display WVGA resolution of 800 by 480. It comes with a pixel density of 233 ppi which is pixels per inch and it comes with an IPS LCD screen. It has only 2 point touch and it has the most basic sensors which are ambient light sensor, accelerometer and proximity sensor. As I have said earlier, it only has few buttons, two buttons for volume keys, one for power and lock key and the one on the front side which is the back key. Coming to the hardware, the SIM card type is micro SIM and as we all know it's a dual SIM phone and charging connectors are micro USB. For data syncing you can use a micro USB to USB converter and you even get a 3.5mm audio connector. These things are pretty standard in all the phones coming these days. So going next, we have a battery capacity of 1500 milliamps. We have to see how much battery backup these phones will give once they are out in the market. So coming down to processor, it's a dual core 1 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor. This device comes with 512 MB of RAM. We have to see how much memory is left after the OS loads up. And an internal storage of 4 GB. We even get an option of an expandable memory card. Coming to the main camera, this version of phone that is Nokia X has only one camera that is a 3 megapixel camera which comes with a resolution of 2048 by 1536 pixels. It doesn't have an autofocus, it just has a fixed focus and you get a 4x zoom. So going now and coming to video resolution, it can capture a video in standard definition which is around 800 by 480 or in this case it records 864 by 480. And finally in the box all you get is sales package, the Nokia X dual SIM phone, a charger, battery and Nokia headset and quick guide. You can get this phone for around 7000 to 8000 rupees in Indian market or around 100 to 120 or 140 dollars in US market. This phone will be released only in developing countries like India. That's it guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts, go ahead and leave a comment below the video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and please subscribe to Greedy Tech channel to see more videos just like this.